The first step in tube bending is finding the start of your bend so you know where the end of your bend is going to be. Most people wrongly assume that the edge of the die is the start of the bend. Other people assume that this crush point is the start of the bend, which is also wrong. Right here, this line is the true start of the bend, which is actually called the tangent point. Next, we're gonna show you how to find that. In order to find the tangent of our 90 degree bend here, what we wanna do first is actually use a square to verify the center line radius of our die. Now, every die, ha the edge is the center line radius, so the contact point at six inches means this is a six inch radius die. And that number is also going to be the tangent point of our 90 degree bend. Now, we're gonna actually make our test bend. And I've got a one inch mark on this tube that I will line up with the start point on my bender. What I like to use is the edge of the strap right here. And just because it's a nice, easy mark. And once we make our bend, then we're gonna be able to do the math to figure out where the actual tangent is so I know this will be the accurate start of any bend going forward. This is where I like to use the square to get that last little tweak going. So that's looking pretty square there. Before we pull this out, I want to mark. This is our die mark here. Take off our tension. Okay. That's our start mark. This is our die mark here. Now, we've got inch in three quarter tube divided by two equals seven eighths of an inch. And we'll grab our square. And if we set this up and align this, so six inches is our radius plus seven eighths of an inch right here. That is our tangent point right there. Right here, this is our crush point. So that that's where a lot, this is where the tube crushes, which is also close to our true tangent or start of bend. But you can see we are five eighths of an inch from the actual start of bend or tangent to the die. And we are one, two, three and a half inches to our start mark on the die. So once again, we're six inches to our center line radius plus seven eighths of an inch, which is half of our tube, to the actual tangent of the bend. And this is where you can see the crush mark and the die are nowhere near the actual tangent of the bend. This is why doing this is so important. Well, that's how you can take a simple 90 degree bend to be able to figure out where your actual tangent or start of bend is and your bend offset. Now, for this bender, I like to use the edge of the strap. You could use the edge of the die, but as you saw earlier, the reason why I didn't use the edge of the die initially was because the edge of the die is hidden under here. So that's a very hard thing to see. In the next video, we're going to be doing a tube bumper on the Bronco here because that tube bumper is old and destroyed and it needs a new one. And in that video, we're obviously not going to be using 90s, but we're going to be using this angle finder and the same principles of down on your die, whatever the angle is, you will use the contact point is the tangent of the bend. And then we'll be using this offset to be able to figure out where the start of the bend is. So that way we know that every bend will be right the first time. That's about it for this video. Make sure to like the video if you like it, add a comment and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to speed with 911 Motorsports.